first time I heard the harder styles of things was like old show tech and um, like old headhunters. And it just, for some reason, it was so hauntingly beautiful, intense style of music that I was so foreign to that it really caught my, caught my ear. And I had that kind of that weird gut feeling, like that intuition, like, okay, this is something I could, I'd be interested in diving into a little bit more. Throughout my whole time at Icon and my whole time in production up to this point, I had no calling in terms of what, I didn't never really define myself as one particular style. So I was like, all right, well, let's, let's take that mentality and that focus and maybe apply it to this particular genre of music. And so I started just cross blending genres, kept going with it, and then it started to kind of just take off on its own. I mean, I started to kind of get a following that had the same interest that I did with dance music. And that's when I started to finally get that concrete following of people that really believed and that sound that I was making and that style and really wanted me to push forward with it. They'd, you know, like, you gotta keep doing this. This is awesome. No one's doing this. Like, you're doing something that's never been done. And that's what kept me going, hearing stuff like that, because, you know, it was, it's, it's a battle, like, when you're, when you're an up-and-coming producer. It was just one of those things where, like, I'm glad I followed my heart and did what I wanted to do, even though it took a little longer. You know, obviously, it's worth it in the end to follow your heart and do what you love to do and make what you love to make.